you this morning we're remembering the life of Queen Elizabeth and in about 30 minutes bells will toll across England and then this afternoon we'll hear from her son King Charles III. Uh, meantime tributes continue to pour in for Her Majesty here at home Houston City Hall lit up in red white and blue last night. Houstonians extending condolences to the royal family. Our Brittany Jeffers is live at the British Consulate this morning. Brittany. Yes, as you said, Owen, so many people not only around the world, but right here in Houston are offering their condolences. And we found out that here at the British Consulate, there will be a condolence book that is available to the public at 10 o'clock, uh, beginning at 10 o'clock this morning, and it will be available uh, through next week. In the meantime, so many people are reflecting on the Queen's legacy. Elizabeth II is the only monarch that I or most of us have known during our lifetimes. Uh, she has been the the she has been a, an icon um, to all of us and a model of of stability and moral rectitude. So Houstonians, uh, along with the rest of the world, offering condolences and mourning Brit Britain's longest reigning monarch. Queen Elizabeth II passed away at the age of 96 yesterday at Balmoral Castle in Scotland, surrounded uh, by family members. Now, many Houstonians may recall when the Queen visited Houston back in 1991. Her tour of Texas also included a visit to the Johnson Space Center. Local professors say that Queen Elizabeth II not only witnessed history over the last second decades from her throne, the former monarch also played a prominent role, and her death now signifies a new generation for the monarchy. Britain has not one but two leadership changes at the same time because the actual leader of the country has just passed away, and that's going to be a bit of a change. Uh, from Prince Charles, now King Charles III, he's going to have a different approach to some of this foreign policy uh, apart from his mother. And you have a whole new hawkish prime minister. So as you just heard, the Queen's successor, her son, now King Charles III, will soon begin his reign. And we have learned he is expected to travel to London today to meet with the Prime Minister. He is expected to make a televised statement sometime this afternoon. Now, as Lisa had mentioned here, uh, within the next 30 minutes or so, uh, churches and cathedrals all across England will be tolling their bells in honor of the Queen. Reporting live from downtown Houston this morning, I'm Brittany Jeffers, KPRC 2 News.